wondering what's going on. I've just woken up really. It's a really nice day here in Slovenia. I'm gonna have a bit of food then I'm just gonna go down to the lake before packing up and getting on our train to Croatia. The train is at 11.31 and there's three trains all together today. We've got a long day. We get to Croatia at 10 past seven. Seven hours traveling today, quite a long time. This is my view for breakfast this morning. Okay, me, Tom and Max are going to have a quick swim in the lake, refresh ourselves before the travel day ahead. Um, then we're probably just going to get some stuff for breakfast from the supermarket. Okay, this lake is nice to swim. It's really cool. Matt's been in but Tom hasn't yet. Swim done. That was re very refreshing. Tom didn't get in. Just didn't want to get wet again. Matt got in quickly. Now we're gonna go and get some croissants or something, I think, for breakfast. So yeah, we're pretty much all packed up here. Uh, our taxi is at 11, train station. Hopefully we won't get the same mental driver as yesterday. It's been pretty good for the one night we've had in it. Um, I definitely preferred it at night, I think, just because it was a lot quieter, not as many Brits around. Okay, we're back at the train station. We're here nice and early, which is good. The taxi driver this time was normal, which is nice. She was a, it was a woman, so there wasn't any chat about pretty ladies. Yeah, Alfie, I don't think you'd like this station very much. There's a lot of wasps here. We're on the train now, about an hour and a half this one to a place called Nova Gortia on the Italian border. It's quite hot on here, I've got the window open. Yeah, I'm just reading my book. in Nova Gorcia. Uh, it's right by the Italian border I think. It's quite industrial, quite a big place. Uh, very southern Europe. Yeah, we're in Nova Gorcia and there's just this sort of pub bar at the station. It's got this cool snooker room. It's like got a thing up there. And then like, we've got a snooker table here with like a deck and deck bar. It's like an American saloon. This place is insane. Then so different to anywhere I've ever been. So arid. Here's a map of the area. So there's Novigorcia, and I think Gortsvitsia is in Italy. So that shows how close we are to the border. Our next train is going to go to Cesana down there, and then after that we go to Butset in Croatia, I think, which isn't on here. It's quite a grand building, the station. It's like, in terms of all the other Slovenian stations we've seen so far, it's by far the biggest. There's these markings on the floor that says Italia and then a Slovenia. So I'm unsure whether this was the old border from the end of the war, 1947 till 2004. And then recently, Slovenia claimed this area back by the looks of it. So this signpost here, it shows names of all places that uh, were historical on the Isonzo front in the Second World War. And they're now all connected by the Walk of Peace from the Alps to the Adriatic. in Cezana. Another 45 minute wait here. There's a bit of a breeze here so it, it doesn't feel as hot. We're still gonna keep to this shade I think. Okay our train to bootset has been sort of cancelled and we're getting a mini bus instead. Okay we've been on the bus for about 40 minutes now. Uh, we've got to the border crossing at Croatia so we've had to, had, had to hand over all the passports just to get our documents checked. We're back on a train now. Um, the bus dropped us off at Buzet, so train from Buzet to Pula, back on track. We're back on a train now, the bus dropped us off at Buzet, so train from Buzet to Pula, as originally. This train has no lights, so when we're in a tunnel it's pitch black. This is one of the slowest trains I think we've ever been on. Um, 
Matt keeps asking if we can get off and buy a taxi. Um, to me, this is all part of interrailing. I've moved from the other carriage just because this one's a lot quieter because the engine is in the back of that one. So it's just really loud in there. It's a single track line, so we had to wait for a train to come this way. Okay, we're really quite close now. Uh, you can see the sea, you can see the islands. This long train journey has nearly come to an end. Three hours long. Okay, uh, we've arrived in Croatia. Uh, a long day. Uh, we've narrowed a pizzeria. Um, that was recommended to us by our Airbnb host. So that's me signing off. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new and travel, discover, explore.